Hey trainers, Alika Ham here with some more Pokemon video magic. And in today's video, I am going to be showcasing Reshiram in the Open Master League with its new uh, Legacy Charge move, Fusion Flare, which I have found to be really, really helpful. It charges up pretty fast and gives Reshiram access to a pretty decent type fire move, which was unavailable before. So yeah, uh, Reshiram getting a, getting a nice boost here. My team consists of Reshiram with XL Mewtwo and Kyogre in the back. So only one XL Pokemon, uh, Reshiram and Kyogre could definitely be powered up, but they are able to function fairly well in this context, as I think you'll see. And I've had a lot of fun playing with them. I've had some really good sets with these two. Okay, coming up against a Mewtwo in this first battle on the lead, Mewtwo is actually has a fairly good matchup against the Reshiram, and then my opponent comes in with a Dialga to farm down. I'm going to have to come in with Mewtwo because Shadow Ball is going to be the best offense that I have against Dialga. I'm going to go ahead and shield here because I really need to be able to land a Shadow Ball, and even if they shield it, I should be able to... Uh, outpace them to the next charge move, and they are down a shield now, so I'm just hoping that I can go ahead and KO with Shadow Ball. I think it's going to be close. I'm not sure that it quite gets me there. Right, it does not. So I swap in Kyogre to go ahead and absorb this Iron Head. It's going to be resisted damage, so I'm, I, I feel like I'm doing pretty well there. My opponent does have stored energy on Mewtwo, and Psy Strike would hurt a lot, so I am going to shield that. But fortunately, because I swapped in the Kyogre and got in a few waterfalls, I was actually able to have some residual energy there. And then it is a Melmetal in the back. This is not great because Melmetal is going to charge fairly quickly. I definitely need two Surfs plus some waterfall damage to KO the Melmetal. And even if their Rock Slide or Superpower does not quite KO, um, it's, uh, it's going to be really difficult for me to come back from that given the, given the, uh, the Thundershock damage. Uh, it's small damage, but it's super effective against the Kyogre, and it really starts to add up. So for this particular set, I was coming off of a, a really good prior set, and I, I had high hopes, but this one started off kind of rough. But stick with me, I, I will show you that this team is very workable. So we're, we're in a very similar situation in battle number two, coming across a Mewtwo, and this time I don't want to tank all of that damage on my Reshiram just yet, so I'm going to go ahead and go for the crunch here, and you might be able to see that I was tapping pretty close to my own Mewtwo here, I'm hoping to make the swap. I do make the swap, but unfortunately they anticipate, so I'm gonna have to shield up the Shadow Ball here. I'm just going to go for a Psy Strike because that's all I have to go for. Psy Strike will do plenty of damage to KO the opposing Mewtwo uh, from this range, but unfortunately I'm gonna have to let my Mewtwo go because they will be able to reach that next Shadow Ball. I'm going to come in with the Reshiram to farm down. I think we are just barely able to get that farm down. And then my opponent comes in with a Tyranitar, which is bad news for Reshiram because this dragon does not like to see rock types. And I don't have anything that's going to do very much damage to, uh, to a rock dark type, right? Fortunately, my opponent has a Togekiss in the back, so having Thunder as an extra charge move on Kyogre works really well. Uh, if somebody's running Blizzard, that's fine. Uh, Blizzard will, will also KO the uh, flying types there, so that's nice. And even though it's resisted, we are able to get that Tyranitar just low enough to be able to throw a Fusion Flare and have it be effective enough to KO. So that worked out really nicely. We're gonna go on into match number three. And 
In this case, I've got Reshiram into a Togekiss. So Togekiss is sort of worst case scenario. I'm going to swap into Kyogre and see what I can bait out. And it is a Eveltal. This is actually really good because now I keep my Mewtwo away from the Eveltal. And I'm going to go ahead and farm all the way up to a potential Thunder and then throw the Surf. They do not respect the Thunder, so back-to-back -back Surfs it is. I'm going to go ahead and throw here. I do get the shield back. And at this point, I'm ready to commit that extra shield and save some health on my Kyogre because I should be able to Waterfall down from here. And that's going to put me in a pretty good spot with an, an energy lead here. And it helps me keep switch advantage as well. My opponent brings in Groudon, and Groudon does not like these water type moves. But an Earthquake will KO from this range. Earthquake, especially Stab from Groudon, is going to hit really, really hard. And Reshiram doesn't really have a lot of play against their lead, so I'm just going to come in and do as much damage as I can with Dragon Breath against the Groudon and then count on Mewtwo to be able to close the game. So I do go down to an Earthquake and this is just a Fire Punch so it's not going to do all that much. I can commit to the Farm Down. My opponent does wisely go ahead and switch into their Togekiss. Unfortunately they let me get a pretty strong energy lead so I should be able to get to two Psy Strikes before they can reach a move. Okay, so Psy Strike is going to be enough to take down the Togekiss. There's a little delay there because I think my opponent maybe closed their app. But when the Groudon comes back in, it's just going to take one or two Psycho Cuts. Yeah, one more Psycho Cut to take down the Groudon. And no big deal. We're able to, to uh, walk away with, uh, with another win there. So I'm, I'm really, really happy with the way that one turned out. Even though it looked pretty grim up front, we were able to find a way to use Reshiram and we were able to uh, save our shields and pull out that win. This is a very unfavorable matchup against a Dragonite up front. Unfortunately, my opponent anticipated a swap from me and held on to their energy. But good fortune for me is that I did reach a move at the same time as them. They farmed up enough, yeah, for an outrage, so I definitely did not want to get outraged. Um, I did a poor job of energy management here. I should have known that I could over farm instead of immediately throwing, so unfortunately I waste a bunch of energy on this Metagross. But I am fortunately able to reach a Shadow Ball. My opponent is going to shield it, and they're just going to farm me down before I can get to the next Shadow Ball, so I'm going to let Meteor Mash through and go ahead and decide to come in with the Kyogre to get some farm. The Meteor Mash on Metagross would be resisted, but I don't really want to tank a Psychic or an Earthquake. My opponent comes in with Dragonite, and because they don't immediately throw, I figure I would go ahead and do that. Try and get them low enough that I can snipe with Reshiram, which I do. And my opponent brings in Rhyperior. This is going to be tricky because I can chip some damage there, but they, they are going to get a big old energy lead on the Rhyperior. And if I get hit with something like a Rock Wrecker, that's not going to be great. Fortunately for me, they go for Super Power, which lowers their own defense. That means I can definitely farm down, and now I have a Surf loaded to throw against the Metagross, which is just enough to take out the opposing Metagross. And I am very lucky to take the, the win on that one. I'm, I'm lucky that my opponent did not get to the Rock Wrecker, that they just threw the Super Power and uh, otherwise that could have gone very differently. Okay, very unique lead in this fifth match. We've got Zamazenta up front, which is a pure fighting type, so it's, it's not a fairy type like Zacian, its brother in arms. I'm going to go ahead and throw that Fusion Flare. They block because it is a CMP tie and they want to get their move through, and because it's a CMP tie, 
I figured that they threw immediately. So that means they have not got to another moon blast, and I can let that move through. That was a good call. It was just a crunch. And I'm not quite able to farm down before they get to the next move. But I really like having switch advantage, so I thought I would go ahead and shield and then just farm down, and I'll have some energy to throw against whatever comes in next. In this case, it's going to be a Tyranitar. Again, Reshiram does not really like Tyranitar very much, but instead of swapping, I went ahead and, and let it get farmed down, because really my only Pokemon that has play against Tyranitar is, is Kyogre. So I need to protect Kyogre as much as possible, and Mewtwo does not have a great matchup against Meloetta necessarily either. It, it just depends on what moves it's running. But of course, Psychic type moves are going to be resisted, and because of its normal typing, that means Ghost type moves are resisted as well. Psy Strike still hits pretty hard, and Psy Strike is stab on Mewtwo, so. I can continue to throw those moves, and I was thinking I'm either going to get to farm them down, or exactly what happened is, is what's going to happen, where um, my opponent gets to a point that I can kind of farm them down with waterfalls. But this ended up being really, really close. My opponent does get a crunch through that brings me down to about 1 HP, but fortunately my waterfall registers before the confusion from their Meloetta registers, and so I can claim that win at, uh, at the end with game 5 as well. That was a really cool team. Uh, Zamazenta, Tyranitar, and Meloetta, not a very common team, and I hope that my opponent finds some success with it. This has been fun. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing Reshiram in action in the Open Master League, and I'll talk to you next time, trainers.